Hi, I'm Claudia. I'm with Peninsula Baptist Church, and we're going to start where it all begins with the Costco chicken. So it's really critical to portioning out the meat from the chicken that you cut it up the way I'm suggesting. It, it makes it a little simpler to me. So first thing we got to do, and I will tell you that you're going to be receiving your chicken warm, and it is easier to cut up a chicken warm than it is cold. If you don't know that, it's really true. It makes a big difference. So I will probably struggle a little bit here today because I had to pick up the chicken yesterday. So for our meals, one meal is going to consist of a leg and a thigh, another a leg and a thigh, and then each of the breasts will be a meal. And then the carcass will be boiled to do your wild rice soup, which is really wonderful. You'll, you'll enjoy this. So it's important that you have these separated in a way that enables you to get the proper portions for your meat. So, I'm brutal, aren't I? So we have our two legs. We have our two thighs, and you might need to grab a little bit of the thigh meat. I'm not going to work real hard at getting all the meat off the chicken because remember, we want a nice meaty soup too. We've got our second leg and thigh. And again, this is so much easier. You're going right down beside the uh, breastbone, just as far down as you can go, and then you're just going to lift off that breast. So we have one, two, three, four meals, and here's the fifth. Um, I get the meat from the wings and the back. And did, did you know there's oysters in chicken? I didn't know that there were oysters for the longest time, but there's an oyster in the small of the back right here and here, and it's dark meat, and it is the best bite on the whole chicken. When I was growing up, uh, I never knew there was an oyster, and my mom thought that was fair because my grandmother never told her there were oysters. Whenever they had chicken, the cook got the oysters. <laughs> so my grandmother got the oysters, and then later, my mother got the oysters, not me. And now my girls know there's oysters, and I never get one. <laughs> so it's just not fair. But there are those oysters, and they are a wonderful bit of meat. There's always wonderful juice left in the pan. So we're just going to put this right back in that container. This is going to go into a six quart pot to be made into stock and then you'll be picking those bones and using that meat in the soup. So that's what you do with a Costco chicken. <laughs>